guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Lara and today I'm going to be reviewing The Witcher while also doing some fan art. I'm actually going to be painting Siri. I've already done the base sketch and I'm, I'm not the best at painting so we'll see how this goes. And at the same time I'm going to be talking about the show and what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and yeah. I'm not certain about this format. I really like reviewing shows and like talking about them but also I want to get some painting experience in so this is kind of like a dual video so if anyone watches this like tell me what you think about it and let's just get into it. I have some pictures of the actress. Uh, this is going to be based slightly off of the actress who plays Siri in the TV show and not the game character. I'm gonna start with a base coat for the skin and I'm gonna start talking about the show. First off, I have not played any of the games but after I watched the TV show I bought all the games because there was a Steam sale so now I have all of them and when I have time I'm gonna actually start playing them. <laughs> yeah, definitely planning on playing the games eventually. So so the first thing that I want to talk about is actually Henry Cavill, the person who played Geralt. Whenever I heard that he was going to be playing in the TV show, I was a little bit skeptical. I wasn't sure I wanted to watch it just because the only thing I've really seen him in is Justice League, like the movie, and I hated that movie so much. He's like literally my favorite part of the TV show. He is so good in this. I really liked his character and I I didn't know if Geralt was like a good character or if he was like an evil character. I didn't really know what his morality was was whenever I first started watching. It was really interesting to kind of watch the show from that perspective because I literally like I had no idea what was happening but I love girls characters so much. It's nice. It's really nice especially after watching Game of Thrones where like all the characters are pretty much evil and terrible. It was really nice to watch a fantasy show where you know there were actually like good people in it and good characters and you're actually rooting for people because you know moral gray areas and you know, characters that are like antagonists and stuff like that's really interesting to watch but it can get a little bit like depressing and tiring especially if every single character is like that so I liked how a lot of the main characters were just like people trying to do the best that they could and it made it a lot more relatable and it made all, all like the main characters a lot more likable to me even characters like Jennifer who you know they're not the greatest person all the time but they are like they're still trying and they they're still trying to do what they think is the right thing most of the time let's actually paint stuff shall we so I really I really like that whole part of it. One thing that I realized almost immediately when I started watching was that uh, Siri and Geralt were not going to meet until the end of the show. I just like sensed, like I've watched enough TV shows that I could sense the timing and I realized like they are not going to meet each other for a very long time and I have to say that was a little disappointing to me only because like the, the Last of Us, that game, the dynamic of like a father and a daughter and like trying to survive together and like them trying to like understand how to understand each other and be understanding and like I was hoping that they would get to meet each other sooner just because I thought that would be a really interesting dynamic but unfortunately that didn't happen to like the last like 10 seconds basically so that was a little disappointing but you know it was I wasn't surprised you know that's just a minor thing it kind of had to happen story-wise like that was the whole point of the season so I'm not too mad about that I know this review is a little bit all over the place but um, there's so many things I want to talk about there's so many like cool and interesting women in this show and like most of the characters are women in the show which is a little bit surprising like I wasn't expecting that at all like not that I was like oh it's a deal breaker if that isn't that way but it was just surprising because like a lot of fantasy shows it's not necessarily like that so that was a really cool surprise and like I think all of them were written really well I love Yennefer so much I can't really pick a favorite character because they're all so great <laughs> like I just really like the characters even if maybe some of the plot and stuff had some flaws I really liked all the characters Maybe I should talk about some things I didn't like because this is a review. Some things I didn't like, and this is going to be a little controversial. I'm sorry about that. But I didn't particularly care for Yesker. Is that how you say it? I don't know how to say his name. The Bard. I didn't like the Bard character until the episode where he got cursed I and mean, they had to go to Yennefer to help. I just, I found his character a little bit annoying. I did definitely like his character towards the end, but like in the middle, it was a little bit like, I, I don't know about this guy. That's probably my only controversial opinion. You know, I ended up liking him anyway, but at the beginning, it was just a little bit annoying. My goal this year is to paint, do 50 paintings this year. So that's almost one painting 
painting a week, which is very, you know, it's definitely a high bar. And I actually am not hating how this is looking. It could be just a generic, like, fantasy character. I hope it actually, like, kind of looks like Siri. I didn't try to be, like, hyper-realistic because that's not really my style, but you guys get it. So this show is a little confusing. I've, like, read a lot of, a lot of the articles that have something bad to say about the show. They talk about how a lot of really important, like, events and locations aren't explained very much and I honestly like had no idea what was happening politically for most of the show like Nilfgaard is bad question mark but I didn't really understand why they're bad except like they they're fighting everyone but why are they doing that are they just conquering everything I was just confused as to why they were doing that and like like what the other kingdoms were and obviously not playing the games or reading the books. I'm sure if you had done that you would definitely know what's going on but I didn't so I wasn't necessarily mad at it but comparing it to like other fantasy like shows or movies like it's really nice when you know why a battle's happening or why someone's trying to like take over someone else because you know political intrigue is very interesting to me so it's nice to actually have some context. It's like not a deal breaker at all for me but I definitely had no idea what was happening happening for most of the time whenever it was like more when it was more focused on the battles and like the political stuff I didn't really understand what was going on so that was that was a little bit confusing and I was like eh, I'm not sure what's happening <laughs> it wasn't a deal breaker for me and the timeline stuff that was I was so confused. I had no idea what was happening. I'm probably just like not very like observant. I literally had no idea what was happening during the the child surprise scene where they go to the court and the queen freaks out because of I'm not explaining anything because I don't remember any of the characters' names, but whenever Geralt and Yesker go to the court, I thought that Nilfgaard was like creating like illusion for Geralt to like try to trick him into telling them where Ciri was. Like it was literally like the last 10 minutes of the episode I was like, oh, this is like 15 years earlier. I had no idea what was happening. Like I was waiting for like the Nilfgaard people to like jump out of the walls and be like, oh, we got you. Um, which didn't happen because that's not what was happening. But you know, that's what I thought was happening. So that, that was definitely confusing. You know, it was kind of like a cool reveal in some ways because the show never really Really revealed it like they let the the audience kind of reveal it to themselves once they understood what was going on so that was kind of it definitely felt like kind of cool like figuring that out even though I probably figured it out like way later than everyone else that was definitely a little bit confusing for me and you know eventually I figured it out but you know it was like wait a second that and that <laughs> Wait, <laughs> but I'm not like the most observant person, so I'm sure everyone got it a lot sooner than I did. Oh, spoiler warning. I didn't put spoiler warning at the beginning. But all in all, I really like this show. It was very fun to watch. It definitely wasn't what I expected. I'm not sure what I expected, but it, it was definitely different. I just liked the characters and, you know, even if some things are a little bit confusing or hard to understand, like the characters were really solid and that's... That's very important to me. For me to like a show, I have to like the characters. So I'm going to finish this painting and then I'm going to come back and reveal the end product. Yeah, we'll see you in a little bit. Okay guys, here's the end of the video. Here's the finished painting. I am very new to painting so I don't- it didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it to but this is my review of The Witcher. This was a really weird video but hopefully you liked it and I might do another one and if you did like it don't forget to subscribe down below and yeah I'll see you guys later. Bye!